We now find out that GOP House Speaker Mike Johnson apparently got involved to make the infamous, now infamous, Trump Arlington National Cemetery scandal happen. So apparently the Arlington National Cemetery had told Gold Star families that they could only be there for a specific time that did not work for everyone's schedule. And we're also told the president could not join them at their children's grave sites, you know, because that's what the law is. Anyway, a GOP representative immediately reached out to Speaker Johnson to ask for his assistance with the matter. And the Daily Caller is told he continued to track it until it was fixed. Who saw him popping up in this story? So basically what happened is these Gold Star families wanted to do this event. And you could look at their wanting to do it in one of two ways. Either they honestly believe that Donald Trump gives literally a single quantum of a damn about any of their family members. And so they just thought it would be great to have him. Or, you know, they support Donald Trump. They want to produce a commercial for him. Or maybe it's a combination of the two. But either way, Arlington National Cemetery wasn't gonna let them do it because it's not like a campaign stop. It's us, it, you know, like people throw around the term sacred, but it's a sacred place and there are laws against this sort of thing. A storm is tearing up the digital media industry. Only our audience can save us in these difficult times. Help us reach our goal of 100,000 new members at tyt.com slash team. So according to another source that was familiar with the conversations between the families and the cemetery, um, after Johnson's phone call, the entire situation changed. So he got involved, he stayed on it. I guess that's all he's been up to for a few weeks. And so we get the event, which we're gonna give you some more footage on and some more attempts by the Trump camp to cover for. But the source continued to say Arlington Cemetery officials claim the family didn't want any media photography or videography at section 60. That's the area you're not supposed to do this stuff in. Contradicting what the families had actually requested. The families were fine with the media designated by the Trump team, but Arlington kept pushing back, obstructing the process. This would not have happened without Speaker Johnson. So the important part there is that Speaker Johnson bears some of the responsibility for that. The other part there is that paragraph I just read for you, How effing disingenuous is every word of that other than the part about Mike Johnson? They say, "Oh no, Arlington Cemetery is saying that the families didn't want this stuff, but no, they did. That's not the scandal, you idiot. It's that they weren't allowed to have those things. We're not doubting that some of them wanted them to be there, but wanting don't make it legal. That's not how it works. And so, yeah, if I were them, I also would not want to have to engage with the fact that we were trying to break the rules and in fact did. I'd instead make it about the wishes of the Gold Star families. And by the way, we've been saying this whole week, they're allowed to wish that, but wishes don't change federal regulations. And so anyway, obviously the Daily Caller considers that whole event to have been a good thing and many people on the right like it. Either because again, they're participating in the shared cultural delusion that Donald Trump cares about soldiers or whatever, or they just think it's great as a backdrop for a Trump TikTok campaign ad. But just because they like it doesn't mean that the campaign is not sensitive to the fact that they're being criticized over this. So here is J.D. Vance lying about what happened. You're acting like Donald Trump filmed a TV commercial at a gravesite. He was there providing emotional support to a lot of brave Americans who lost loved ones they never should have lost. And there happened to be a camera there. There happened to be a camera there. Donald Trump didn't know there'd be a camera. He just went and uh, oh my God, someone's filming this. My God, is J.D. Vance a massive and also terrible liar. And he said there, they're acting like he's doing a TV campaign commercial. He threw in the word TV there because at least so far, they haven't used the footage on TV. Although like the clock is ticking, that's gonna happen this week. But they like when J.D. Vance said that, they already had turned it into a commercial. Take a look. Was 13. Great, great people. What a horrible day it was. We didn't lose one person in 18 months. And then they took over that disaster, the leaving of Afghanistan. Okay, so JD Vance, did you see that? It's Trump's TikTok account. Are you not following Trump on TikTok, JD Vance? Because they turned it into a commercial. They did. And by the way, they're going to use the footage in a campaign commercial on TV as well. You already know that because you're a massive effing liar. That's why people hate your guts even more than they hate most politicians. You stand out even in that terrible group. And um, 
So the entire thing is utterly disingenuous. And I I know that I said this on TYT last night, but I know that there's not perfect overlap in the audiences. That ad also was so dishonest. We, we didn't lose a single soldier for 18 months. That's an effing lie. There was no 18 month period. There was no eight month period where we didn't lose soldiers abroad. We lost like 65 soldiers in combat while Donald Trump was president. We lost 45 soldiers specifically in Afghanistan while he was president, including in the final 18 months before Biden and Harris took over. And I understand strategically why he's focusing on the deaths of the soldiers during our transition out of Afghanistan, a plan that closely mirrored what Donald Trump at least said he was gonna do by the way, but I'm sure if he had done it, there'd be no deaths. Um, why is he not doing memorials for the 45 other soldiers who died in Afghanistan while he was president? Where are the odes to that? Where are the flowers, Donald Trump? Why are you focusing on these? It's almost like it's not that every soldier's life is sacred, it's that these ones can be used for a campaign commercial and that's why you're using it. And I'm gonna end with one last chilling point, just briefly. So there had been a claim made that one of the campaign workers, or not campaign, the cemetery workers had been not only yelled at, but physically pushed. And it turns out the army has confirmed that that happened. And as an added layer, it was a woman that they were pushing around and that they're now claiming was hysterical. She was having a mental health episode, so they had to rough her up a little bit. And here is the thing, she filed an incident report with military authorities over the altercation. But at least as of right now, there's not gonna be any charges. Do you know why? Because she's scared of retaliation from Trump supporters. How chilling is that? She's already been roughed up and she doesn't even want to try to get justice because she knows exactly what will happen to her. If she presses charges, then libs of TikTok is gonna be talking about her and all of the Ben Shapiro clones are gonna be talking about her and people are gonna find her name and her family's and her address. And best case scenario, she will be flooded with hundreds, maybe thousands of death threats and rape threats. Worst case scenario is that she dies as a result of standing up to Donald Trump. So. Thank you, Mike Johnson, for bringing us this horrendous episode of American politics. I hope, I hope, again, it's totally up to her whether she wants to push for charges, but there should be some justice for this. This entire thing is a goddamn mess. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?